Hi, I'm Angie, and today I'm making an amazing honey cake. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I've greased a tube pan. So let's start by combining our dry ingredients. In this bowl, I've got three cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll just use a wire whisk to combine those. And I'll set that aside while we combine the wet ingredients. Okay, in the bowl of my electric mixer, I've got one cup of liquid honey, and I'm going to beat that together with three large eggs, one cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of vegetable oil, I'll add the beater attachment, and I'll just beat this together until it's light and fluffy. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside. We have one more step. Okay, in this measuring cup I've got half a cup of leftover coffee, but if you don't have any, you can just use a half a cup of lukewarm water with a half a teaspoon of instant coffee granules dissolved into it. And I'm going to stir in a half a teaspoon of baking soda and just let it dissolve in that lukewarm coffee. And I've got a third of a cup of orange juice. You're also going to need the grated rind from half an orange, so you could grate the orange first, make sure to wash it, and then you can juice the orange to get your third of a cup orange juice, or just use prepared orange juice. So we'll just set that aside for now. We've got our dry ingredients and our egg mixture and our coffee. So what we're going to do is add the dry ingredients to our egg mixture, starting and ending with the dry and alternating with the coffee mixture. Okay, so I'm going to scoop in about a third of the flour mixture. Stir that in, and half the coffee mixture, and another third of flour, and the rest of the coffee. rest of the flour and I'll also just scoop in my grated orange rind. You can scrape down the sides of the bowl once too. Now I'll spread the batter in the prepared pan and we're going to bake this at 350 for about 55 minutes or until the tester comes out clean. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 for about 55 minutes and I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, it's been about an hour and five minutes and the cake is done. I checked it at 55 minutes and it was still very soft. I don't know if the element's going in my oven or just because it's such a big cake it takes a little bit longer. But you definitely want to test it with a tester and it should bounce back when you press it. You want to let it sit in the pan and cool for about 10 minutes and then take it out and let it cool completely on the rack and you can frost it as desired. The last time I made this cake I added a coffee vanilla frosting and that didn't go over too well with my kids. So this time I think I'm going to do a nice fresh orange frosting on top. Should be really good. So thanks for watching and I hope you try a honey cake.